here i am going to show you exactly how we're going to build a luna trading bot Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be crazy and i i'm really really sorry if you were affected by what happened with luna um i'm looking at the short term here uh but yeah that that's been some crazy stuff that's been going on with luna over the past few days as you can see like it's it's wiped out trillions of dollars not trillions of dollars that's that's cap right there but it's 99 percent down probably billions of dollars of wealth which sucks um hopefully you know this bot does well uh it's this is gambling though this is uh you just saw the 99 percent drawdown the reason i want to build this bot is because i've been working or i haven't been working but i've been trying to get connected to kucoin algorithmically I, I just haven't had anything to to actually like motivate me to do it but now i see this chart of luna and it looks like it's picking back up whichever way it goes it doesn't matter to me um, as you know from my other videos i simply just follow the charts so i'm gonna build something here on luna that trades it to the upside if it's over the sma and to the downside if it's under the sma kucoin i'm gonna use like small amounts of leverage 5x actually that's a lot but you can see i tested out uh, a buy here so i just put a buy of like a hundred dollars and with 5x leverage that's it's moving a million luna so this is going to be nuts but you know again like if that did if something if you lost money on luna i'm really really sorry to hear that of course i lost some as well and once again asking for your financial support and so if you want to give me a little support just smash that like button that's all i ever ask for i'm here making these bots every single day on youtube because this is what i do and i want to demystify pretty much the process of algo trading it's really not that hard it's you have to learn a little bit of code but once you learn that little bit of code and you're a trader and you know how to look at charts and buy low sell high and the only thing you're trying to get rid of is your emotions well then it's not that hard because you already you already know what to do you just have to put it into code now so i'm super proud of you for being here i might get liquidated on this position but hey that's all good because at the end of the day i need to build an algorithm that works with kucoin and i want to show you how to do that as well so you know don't don't mimic me on this trade because it's super risky uh, and that goes for all my videos you know like these are all risky high risk uh, and i really just want to teach you the fundamentals throughout these videos of how to get set up and then you can go ahead and build your own strategies so i've got my coffee here i've got my water i'm ready to go so this is gonna be fun this is going to be a lot of fun. I I just want to I just want to make whale moves, so I'm going to do whale things. Let's go ahead and print my balance to make sure it's all connected. And I'm pretty sure I'm connected because I just did this. Okay, there we go. I have like $1000 in this account. I have one open position down 17 percent i'll most likely get liquidated on this video but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to to algo trade this and let's just do the 15 minute let's just if it's above we're going to trade upwards if it's below we're going to try trade downwards 15 minute sma so that's the first thing we're going to need to to create uh let's do uh symbol equals actually i don't even know what the symbol is so let's go ahead and figure out the markets are markets equals kucoin dot fetch markets um let's see if that works print markets because actually let's do uh let's do something a little nicer for m in markets print markets markers markets Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Nice. Here we go. Here's all the markets and that is going to 
go crazy on me. So that didn't work, but I'm just gonna print markets then. For M in markets, it should have just printed the markets, in my opinion, but this is set up differently. Every exchange, that's the thing is, you know, I'm using CCXT, but every exchange is set up a little differently. So what I wanna do here is I wanna try to find the Luna ticker because that's the one I'm gonna be using. So let's go over here and let's go ahead and open up a, um, the only one I cannot open up is my don't share. So don't open that one up, but let's open up a JSON here. And I don't even know if this got all of them. Let's see, format document. Let's go ahead and say Luna. Luna, they don't have Luna on this markets. Um, let's just test ourselves then. Let's see here, what do you think it's called? I think it's called Luna USDT. This here, this open position is Luna USDT. So let's just try some things. Um, fetch markets, fetch, uh, what can we do? Fetch positions? Yeah, let's do that. Positions equals coup.fetch positions. And then I'm guessing what the, the name is. Let's say U, Luna USDT. And then we have to print positions. So a lot of guessing checking here. Okay, I think it might have worked. Luna USDT M. Maybe that's it. Because I do have leverage, that's me. Current cost, 397. Okay, so I think this is the symbol. Okay, so it's either USDTM or USDT. So I'm just gonna put symbol up here equals that. And I'll just put a note to self. Could be USD, uh, Luna USD. But I think either one's gonna work, so that's great. So let's keep on moving. I'm gonna delete all this stuff. And what do we wanna do now? We wanna go ahead and grab the SMA, right? So actually, let's, let's put some more things. Let's put position size. And I'm gonna put one million because that's what I have right now. Look at that, I'm up 40%. Unfortunately, I'm not too happy about that because this was not an algo trade. This was just a me setting this up trade. So that's cool and all, but I should probably just market it, market exit, because I only like to trade with my bot. Okay, so we wanna go ahead and get some more params in here. I wonder if they have this param that is, makes it post only, I don't know. That's the thing is with each new, um, each new exchange, there's a couple of different things you gotta try out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this, post only. See if it works. Target, let's say my target is, um, let's just do a 35% target. And max loss equals, uh, that's a really bad thing to do. Let's do 30, I'm gonna do 40. I am using leverage, so. Let's bring these way down, actually. Let's do 15 and 12. And see, we can just get a ton of trades. Maybe? We'll see, we'll play around with that. Um, again, I kinda wanna, I wanna outsource that to, to um, machine learning here at some point, but we'll see. We got a number one All right, what's next? Let's see. So we got all that set up. I want to get the ask in the bid. So let's say def ask bid. And then we'll pass the symbol 
as symbol. Just in case we want to change that up, let's do order book equals KuCoin dot fetch order book. Order book of the symbol. And then we want to say the bid is the order book. Let's see if this is the same as Femix at least. It's sometimes different. So this is going to be a, like this is the main reason I want to make this this video today is because I need to figure out KuCoin because KuCoin has a lot of how do I say this? A lot of altcoins, which is awesome because I can't get access to all altcoin, altcoins for a very specific reason and that is because you can probably tell by my accent and we have really weird laws here that protect the consumer or debatably keep us from making money <laughs> but it is what it is let's go ahead and print this out here and see if this gets the the bit and ask. Cannot import F line nine. Line nine. What is that? I didn't import that. Ghost importations. I know when I did it, I did capital F, but Okay, the ask for Luna is 0 0.000419. What if Luna becomes the next like meme coin? <laughs> That'd be funny. No, it's not a funny situation though. Like, ah oh, man, I've seen so many people just get wrecked by Luna. Uh, I lost a little bit of money as well, but I didn't lose uh, what a lot of people lost. So that's super, super sad. Oh uh, man. All right, let's get the SMA, def uh, SMA 15. We're gonna do SMA, F SMA 15. Cause we're just gonna, this is gonna be like a YOLO bot because I just wanna get this ready. You know, I just wanna get this working, right? So print. If you go look at KuCoin on, um, just go look at it. There's just so many symbols that you can trade. Let's see. Like there's just so much so many symbols here to trade that um, I really want to be able to algo trade this at any moment. So that's obviously why I'm doing this. Um, this worries me a little bit because it looks like everything's red today. So if I'm building a bot that's going to go long on Luna, that's weird. But at the same time, I'm not deciding, right? I'm going to let the SMA tell me. So. I should probably just get out of this position. But again, see, you can you can see that emotion coming out of me because I put this into a hand hand trade, right? Like I just wanted to get things set up and now I'm like, oh, I need to get in, I need to get out. But like, that's not the point. The whole point of this is to have the bot do it. So now I'm in a race against time in order to, to build this because I want to get out of that if it changes. So 15 minute, let's go ahead and say number of bars. So now I need to code fast num bars equals that let's say bars equals let's make the data frame kucoin dot fetch open high low close volume we'll pass in the symbol we'll pass in the time frame equals time frame um what else do we what else what else what else what else uh oh we need a limit limit equals the number of bars okay what else what else Let's say the DF equals PD dot data frame. We'll pass in the bars. So we're just making a data frame now of all the data so we can analyze it. Timestamp, um, I think it's open, high, low, close. And then volume. 
okay and then we need to reformat the timestamp df of timestamp because it comes in that weird weird format right pd.2 <coughs> and then df dot timestamp and then we go ahead and just say unit unit equals milliseconds because we got to tell it what the unit is now and then I think we can make the SMA so make the SMA and I feel the pressure I do feel the pressure I need to make this fast because you know I could be I could be underwater on this trade. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. Hear too much reading. SMA twenty equals df dot close because that's the column we want. Close dot rolling and let's do twenty and dot mean. So that's all you have to do to get the SMA is you get the close of the last twenty bars which will be 15 minute bars and we'll get the mean let's see if i'm underwater oh look at that we're actually up so let's go. that's awesome that's awesome let's go ahead and keep working on this data frame because i don't have much time i'm gonna get liquidated bid and then one by the way yesterday i don't know if you caught that in my last video i forgot to put these little guys in again and I had to fix that in my bot, but let's go ahead and say df dot. Let's go ahead and make a let's let's just make sure this is working first. Print df, and then let's say uh, SMA fifteen. Don't need to ask bid anymore. And let's run it. Let's see if we can get the SMA. Here we go. Ah, there it is. That's a May right here. So if it's over the SMA, we want to be buying. If it's under it, we want to be selling. Price. If price over. Buy. If price under. Sell. Okay. So price under, we want to buy. Price under, we want to sell df dot log where the df is this sma 20 we want to say when that is over the bid we want to go ahead and make a new column called signal and we want to equal it to sell and then we want to kind of do the same thing but the inverse so df log when it's under the bid so when the sma When the SMA, let's let's walk through through this, make sure. When the SMA is under the bid, so the bid's above the SMA, we should be buying. And when the bid is under the SMA, so it's down here, the bid, the price pretty much is under this yellow line, we should be selling to open. This is when we're opening the trade. So let's go ahead and check it out. Cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, Cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. All right, look at that. We got our signals. Perfect. So now we know if we need to buy or we need to sell. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's go. What's next? What's next? What's next? Okay, so we have the SMAs. I should probably write down up here like what we're trying to do. So, strat one. Gosh, I don't know how to type, but one. Um, I already did a bunch of stuff, so I'm not going to write all that. Pull in price. In price, DF, SMA 15. Okay. If over, if price, over SMA open as a buy if price under sma open as a sell and then oh, these are open orders let's do that yeah, yeah yeah i like that open orders 
because we also want to close orders. Close order if profit hit, profit, target hit, or stop loss, max drawdown, max loss, or price crosses that SMA again. I don't know how we'll execute that, but we'll get to it. Oh, it looks like we are dying here. We're about to get liquidated here. We are about to get liquidated, and that is not fun. Hello, how are you? I'm under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, so we're going to do these things. Let's do an open order first. Um, how will we execute this? Do we need any more information in here? Let's see, we got the SMA, we got the 15 minute SMA, which is awesome. Um, we need to make open positions for sure. So let's go ahead and say def open positions. Um, I don't know if these params are going to work, but if they don't, then no, I don't think that's going to work. It's for Femix, but let's do. Uh, Balance equals KuCoin dot fetch balance. And maybe I'll just pass in the symbol. I don't know. Print bow. And then open positions. I feel like I am racing against time. This is a race against time. All right, dictionary update sequence zero sixty two. Hmm. I need to Google that one. Damn, this is some pressure. I should just stop looking at that. I know it's only a hundred dollars, so it's not going to kill me. But I would like to get this done ASAP. Let's see. Let's see. Dictionary sequence zero, and we need mm, let's go to Google. That's a lot. I'm asking, I'm asking a lot. How to make orders with KuCoin? Okay. Well, I already know how to do that. But maybe it'll show me something else. Create output. No. Nope. Fetch balance won't return. All assets. KuCoin futures. Fetch. Exchange KuCoin. Load markets. Currency exchange. Okay, this might work. Let's go ahead and put it up here for reference. Okay, so balance with KuCoin, let's say currency equals Ku dot currency. This is different. This is different, but this is how we this is how we learn it. This is how we learn it. USDT, and then you want to pass in so ku val equals fetch balance and then currency. Why do I put that in if I just did that here? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's put that curly things and then currency and then currency and ID. That would be awesome if this worked. Unless, if it doesn't, then we're back to the drawing board. Alright, that was a fail. Uh, USDT, currency is not loaded. 
open positions, open positions, USDT, that's how I spelled it, currencies not loaded. Let's go ahead and throw that into Google. Oh, I think I got liquidated. Yeah, unfortunately got liquidated on that position. So that's the risk. That's why you don't hand trade. And look at this. Are we under the SMA now? So I should be shorting this. Perfect, perfect. So that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna keep our composure here. Um, how to solve this internal error. Yes. And once again, asking for your financial support. Just hit the like button, that will, that will definitely help. You just saw me get liquidated on camera. But that's why you don't hand trade, right? Like I wouldn't have made that buy or I would have exited as a, you know, a less of a loss, but that's fine. Um, let's figure this out. Fetch balance, load markets. Oh, I didn't do this. Exchange that load markets. No, USDT. To get USDT as an asset to be. So USDT currency equals USDT. Let's bring this off the screen, make sure I'm doing the same thing. Currency USDT KuCoin dot currency USDT then balance equals KuCoin dot fetch balance currency currency ID because we got to be able to exit right so let's go ahead and just try some new stuff let's say uh, fetch balance no closed orders no deposits free balance funding fees rate order book market leverage markets my trades open high low close open orders this is the one I want, like, if it would just work. <laughs> uh, that would be awesome. I'm going to try a bunch of stuff. Oh, what happened? Something worked. <laughs> open orders. Oh, because that's open orders. I'm actually gonna need that, so that's cool at least. Let's see if this works though. Let's bring this down to 2.9. Open orders. Let's run it back. Okay, I think we're in this at least. We got this. We got our open orders. I wonder if there's a way we can use that. I'm gonna grab some coffee because I'm getting a little sleepy. It's I woke up at 6 a.m. on a Saturday. That's kind of it's kind of crazy. <laughs> open orders that's nice to have let's go ahead and call this open orders and it's nice to have I'm happy about that we got some sort of win okay so now we need positions equals coup dot open uh, fetch fetch positions just give us a, give us that fetch positions and then I'm just going to run that, see what happens there. Print put positions. And that doesn't work. We know that. No way. 
I'm just, I'm like sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'm so frustrated right now that that took me so long to figure out. Patch positions is the answer. Please don't tell me that's the answer. It is. Current quantity is 100. Positions. Holy moly. I'm debating starting this video over because I just took you through all that and wow, that took me forever to figure out. I'm like, I'm here shook, you know? I'm excited. But I think I might need to do some video editing for this one. Dang, this is going to be a hard video to edit. But I'm going to do it. I'm just going to edit this video. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moly. I'm in shock right now. Wow. I can't believe I took that long to figure out my open positions. But we have them now. Okay. Ah, that's so frustrating. It's just different. It's just different. That's okay. So I got my positions. I actually need that again. All right. So let's go ahead and what do we do here? What do we do here? I need to grab all this information and figure out how to get my positions now. So let's close this out. Let's delete all this. Let's go ahead and take that and let's go ahead and format document. Okay. And let's try to tap into this document. So it'd be info and then it'd be maybe risk limit, real leverage, cross mode, current quantity. Okay. I'm just shook. I'm like still sitting here. I need I need a second. That took me forever. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let's not dwell on it. Current quantity. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. And let's do info. Info. And then I think it's positions. We'll see if this works. Uh, quantity. Uh, what do I use usually? Position. I like that. Position cutie. All right, let's go position cutie. Let's see. Let's see if we get it. Print it. Run it. Slices not strings. Maybe would this be a zero possibly? current quantity don't have that hmm let's go ahead and go back through this dictionary be zero info how about that zero and then info let's get rid of this doge bot it's tricking me up zero and then info that should give us all the info and then I can get in the quantity there we go. 
So the quantity, I just had that. Current quantity. There it is. So now I should be able to get the quantity. Let's get it. Come on. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Finally. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! That is what it's all about. It's all. Okay, so now we have the quantity. So let's say, uh, let's call this open position size. And then I don't need this anymore. Let's do open position side now equals probably all that. And then whatever side it is. So let's go ahead and check it out. Cross mode. Essentially, I'm looking for the side if it's a buy or a sell. I know what it is, but position cost, position cost. I must have flown right by it. There it is. Side. Long. Side equals long. I don't think that's going to work though in my current position. So I think it's going to be, let's try it. Let's try this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Print open position side. I don't think this is going to work, but let's see. S no side, no key error, key error, key error. Let's take that out. I think that should work now. Long, perfect. So that gets us the side. And now if, if open position side equals long long open position bool equals true long equals true elif open position side equals uh, short I believe I'm not sure actually. I should probably figure that out. Oh, look at that. I'm up 79%. Market. Peace. 100%. Okay, let's do a short now. Let's say at the at a bid. Okay, perfect. And now say long is false and then we should have else open position bool equals false and long equals none and let's say print f open Okay, so now if it actually does say short, because I'm in a short position now, it should print long equals false. Dang, this works slow, slow. Long equals false. I have to account for that because 
It's going a little slow. So we are, we're doing good now. We're back. We're back into a, uh, we're doing well. So let's go ahead and return stuff because we need this information. Back on track, open positions. We need that. We need open position bool, first shizzle. We need open position size. And we need open, uh, we need long. Is that good? I think that's good. Open position, why is this yellow? Positions. I don't know what the yellow means, so I'm not going to do it. Open. Oh, it's positions. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and copy all this information. And let's say open positions. Perfect. Now we have open positions. We're good to go. Let's delete all this information here. We don't need to run open positions for now. And let's keep it moving. Let's just keep it moving. Let's get it. Hello, Bozo. Let's get it, let's get it. Wakey, 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 wakey. It's time for school. Come on. Kill switch. We need to make a kill switch. So we need to manage risk. Manage risk with a kill switch. So I'm going to say def kill switch equals uh, print starting kill switch and let's say open position equals open or yeah open positions and we need the true or false so that is the the bool which is at section one and then we also need the long which is open positions at section three, I believe. Yep. Zero, one, two, three. Yep. And then we need the kill size equals open positions and two. I should probably get out of that position. Although I am up, mark it 100%. Boom. Okay, so you can see the volatility is crazy on this. I can put random positions in and win. Also can lose. Um, let's go ahead and say print F open position long size. Anything else we need? No, I think that's good. Kill size, let's put that in there. Just a little... Uh, tracking for us to, to do. Okay, perfect. So we have the, that part of the kill switch and now we have to build the while loop for the kill switch. So while um, open position equals true, we want to run this because we're gonna, only going to call the kill switch when we, we want to kill the, you know, kill the position. So um, Starting kill loop till limit fill. Okay, so let's do KuCoin dot cancel all orders. Snap, I don't even know if that works though. Let's go ahead and try it outside of this. Run it and see what happens.
Did it cancel our orders? Yeah. Right? It did, right? Let's try it again. Okay, so we have an open order. Let's run it. See if it closes the order. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we know that works. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's next. What's next? Delete that. Kill switch. Cancel orders works. I don't know if open orders works, but we'll we'll try that here in a second. While open position equals true, we want to do that, and then we want to pull in all this information just in case. Just in case I see things are moving slowly, so I just want to make them move slower. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's say kill size. Let's turn it into an integer just in case. Kill size. Okay. And then the ask equals ask bid zero. And the bid equals ask bid one. Bid. We already created that, remember? Um, and then if long, let's go ahead and try this cell order first. So if long equals false, coup coin, coup dot create limit buy order. And then we pass in the symbol, we pass in the kill side, symbol, kill, size um, what else bid and params I don't know if these params are gonna work but then we go ahead and just print some some stuff to tell us just buy to close order of kill size symbol at bid okay and then we're going to try to sleep sleep in 30 seconds Time dot sleep. So I'm I'm looping through this and I'm saying, hey, let's uh, try to kill it. But then let's sleep a little bit just to see if it fills. And let's do LF long equals true. Then we do that again, but we do a limit cell order. Right? I don't think we need to change anything else. Aspirants close. We just did a cell to close at ask. So I want this at ask. Perfect. And then else print something weird. I'll need to look into that if that happens. So let's do open position one more time equals open positions and then one because now we loop through and now we're going to check has it filled or not. So let's go ahead and let's just try the kill switch see if it works. Again this is a new, a new exchange for me so let's go ahead and run it. I need to get into a position. Let's go ahead and buy oh buy a little something here. One hundred. Let's go ahead and buy. Fills automatically. Wow, already up twenty percent. That's so crazy. This is nuts. Anyways, we want to do the kill switch. So 
delete all this information. Starting kill switch. Ah, bad request. That's the bid, that's the ask. I don't know, it looks kind of suspect. Could be an imposter, you know. Um, look, the best I could do is maybe a $19 Fortnite card, and I'll even throw in a Travis Scott McNuggy meal, all right? Do we have a deal? Just gonna delete the params for now. See what happens there. So the params are, you know, from from my other bots, I use post only orders, and post only orders essentially make it so, hey, if if this doesn't activate as a limit order, don't do it. Okay, so we did it. It works. It's gonna kill it. Oh, it already killed it. Close PNL. Take profit, fills, perpetual. Okay, so I think our kill switch works, which is great. I'm a little nervous about how <laughs> how many fees I'm gonna have to pay for this one because I don't have the post only, but the post only didn't work for some reason. So let's make sure that our time and force is correct here on this because that'd be nice to have post only orders but I'm not going to I'm not going to trip over it because it's not crazy this the price action is so nuts on Luna right now that <clears throat> that's okay I'm not worrying about a couple cents here but hey maybe maybe in the future We'll fix it. Let's go ahead and let's keep moving. So I've got the SMA, I've got the kill switch. Uh, I've got our open positions. So we're good, we're good there. Um, I'm not gonna do like a, I ha in my other code, you can see I have like a sleep on close, meaning, hey, let's not, let's not uh, order too much. I also have an order book thing where it's looking at the order book to tell me if we should get out or not. Um, the one thing I do want to do is figure out my PL close. Because kill switch is important, but PL close is going to look at what's my PL and then close it based off of that. So let's go ahead and let's start building this out. Def PL close. Now, this is going to be a tricky one, but. trying to think if this is the best way to go about this. I think it is. I like my PL close. So essentially it's going to check the PL. So checking to see if it's time to exit. Um, We pretty much need all of this stuff. I'm gonna close this. First, I need the position side. Side equals. No. Long. Long equals open positions and zero one two three so that's gonna be a true or false size equals open positions and that would be a two I always forget these It'll kill your code um, entry price I didn't get that one huh Snap. 
And I didn't get the leverage either. How do we want to execute this? I'm going to pass it in here. I'm just going to get it here because side um, entry and then lev. Say entry price equals and then lev equals. So entry price should be positions. Let's see what the entry is. Uh, entry. Okay, let's find it. Average entry price. Perfect. So that would be up here. Average entry price. I'll print all this out just to make sure it works. And then I think this is just leverage. I hope so at least. And then let's say print. Entry price and left. And now let's run open positions real quick. And time dot sleep. So you don't go past that. Okay, open positions. I should be printing out the uh, a couple things. The long, I guess, but most importantly, the entry and the leverage. This is slow, 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 slow. Index current quantity. Oh, it's because I don't have. Try, that's a good, I'm glad I got that. Open size. Oh, no, 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 95, yeah, 75, 75. So what I'm doing here is, since there's no open quantity, I put zero. So if the dictionary comes back empty, then it means there's zero. Oh, but no, there's no open quantity, so I'm not gonna be able to get the leverage either. It's funny, funny, funny. So I should do all of this, honestly, as, as this, put it all in a try block. I know that's dangerous, but I live on the edge, you know? Why so serious? <laughs> Okay, and now I should go in there and make a position because it's the only way this is gonna work. So let's go ahead and buy. Okay, perfect. And now let's print it out. None and none, what do you mean? So accept, try, accept. So it just set all of these to none. Try open positions. But I have open positions now. I have an open position right there. Oh, maybe, maybe these just broke. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> Let's copy those and then mark them out. I think I just didn't get this correctly. Entry and leverage. <laughs> leverage. Did I spell that wrong? 
Maybe it said something. It's called something else here. Lav. It is. Look at that. Real leverage? What do you mean real leverage? What do you mean real leverage? What does that even mean? I see 6.22. That's interesting. Okay, got it. This is a different. This is a different. Um, this is from earlier. So leverage is not capitalized and it's not an info. Position entry. Okay, this should work. Perfect, so this is my entry and this is my leverage. I don't understand why my leverage is going up when I said, oh, maybe because it's I'm down on the position. Okay, that's weird, but um, yeah, let's, I think we're good to go here now. So that's looking good. Let's try one more time. None, none. Perfect. Okay, so this is working. Now, I just need to update this. Entry and lev. Okay, so now I know that. All right, we're back to it. We're back to it. So delete all of this stuff. We've got the function to manage our, our kill size. And now we need to fix our PL close. We just got to keep going. So let's do that. Um, PL close. We have all the information we need. We don't. We need the leverage. We got the size. We got the le We need the entry price. Price equals open positions at position number four, maybe? Four. Zero, one, two, three, four. And then leverage, leverage equals open positions four. Just want to double check that these work. As uh, I want them to be floats actually, just in case. I don't know. They might be a string right now. They might be so now they're not for sure so now we have all that uh, current price equals ask bid and one because that's the bid that would be the bid so that's what people are willing to buy it for and let's go ahead and print some information out f literal equals side equals and then entry equals that and then lev lev equals that and then what else do we need that's probably good leverage entry side 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 Hmm. Let's call this long.
wakey, 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 wakey. It's time for school. Come on. Let's go ahead and... All right, let's just keep moving then. Print that. And then we want to try to figure out the percentage. And I want to put this in a try statement. So I'm gonna say perk equals round, because I want to round it. And I think we need a couple of these. And then entry price. And I need to make difference. And then I'm gonna multiply it by leverage and 10 decimals max. And then I'm gonna say accept perk equals zero. This will be my uh, PL pretty much. So I need to make this difference here. So if long equals true, you know the 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 excuse me, the what do you call it? The equation. I need more coffee. The equation is going to be different depending on if it's long or if it's short, right? because we're doing a percentage equation here. So the diff would equal the current price, if long, minus entry price. Think about that for a second. It, that's how it is because now if it's short, we would do entry price minus current price. Because, right, like if we're trying to find the difference in price, it depends if it's long or short. Uh, we could do absolute values and whatnot, but I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, this works for me. And let's go ahead and say PL close. Let's make a new one and say it's called false. Just to set it to start and then in position equals false for now even though we might be in position, but I'm gonna say if percentage is over zero, that means we're in a winning position, uh, then that means in position is now true, right? Because that's just confirming. And then we can say print, we are in a winning position. And then we could say if percentage is over our target, and remember we made our target, I don't remember what it was, but print, Let's do some smileys because we happy, we happy. We are in profit and hit target. We hit our target and then we'll do PL close now equals true. And then we say um, kill switch, right? Because we've hit our target, so now we need to trigger the kill switch. We need to get out of the position. I think that's right. I think that's right. And that will trigger the kill switch, which will put a little sleep timer and try to exit us at the limit. LF perk equals zero in position equals true again because we're in a losing position and then say like if perk the, is under or equal to max loss we want to go ahead and print f we need to exit now down we're down that much kill switch and then I'm gonna do kill switch. Kill switch. Okay. Let's see what else we need. I think I need an else statement for both of these actually. I don't need one, but I like to put one. Okay. And then this would be else print print 
print. Uh, what do we want to print? What do we want to print? F. We are in a losing. Not hitting max loss. Okay, perfect. And now we need one more else here. Print. We are not in position. Okay, so I have some errors here. I'm curious what they are. Let me open this up a little bit. Perk. I left perk. Um, if else. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I just need to move these bad boys over. So LF perk under. So if it's over, we're in position. If it's under, we're in position. Else, we're not in position. And in position is just going to stay false. But if we are in position, it's going to check if we're over our target or under our target. If we're over, we're exiting. If we're under, we're exiting. Obviously, different levels of happiness there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Why so serious? <laughs> Let's go ahead and say if in position equals true, then hmm, should I do this? Nah, I don't need this part. I'm just gonna print one more thing. Print just finished checking the PL close. And then return PL close in position size. And long. Okay, perfect. And now we gotta run the bot. I think we just need to write the bot real quick, and this will be super easy. So def bot equals PL close. We wanna go ahead and make sure to check our PL close at the start. Um, DF equals what does DF equal? Let's go ahead and put this here. Copy. Uh, PNL close. Like that. Just for our notes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. DF. This returns DF. All right, so our code is looking fairly nice. Let's just close some of this stuff. Close our imports. All right, so this is our code thus far. And, oh, I just thought of a great idea of low-key stressing about having to edit all of this because I have that whole section that I was searching for so long and I drug you with me, but I'm just going to put a notation on the video saying to skip to this point because I, you know, I'm an algo trader. I'm, I need time. I, my time, all my time on my computer is building algorithms. I'm not spending four hours editing a video. I'm sorry. Like I, <laughs> I'm trying to be as transparent as possible here. So I want to give you as much of my effort to building algorithms. So, I mean, that's the main reason, you know, other people like make like these short videos and whatnot, but I'm not here. I'm not like trying to be a YouTuber or anything. I, I, I'm a, I'm a trader and I'm just trying to help some people along the way because I feel like this is such a industry where it's all about your you, 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 and nobody's really giving back. And it was super hard for me to learn all this stuff so I can give back. I don't care what other people do, but my one thing is I'm not going to sit here and edit videos because that takes forever. When I do edit videos, they're going to be short videos. They're not going to be like as much information. So 
If you're enjoying this, just go ahead and just smash. Just smash it. Smash that like button. Please. It really helps me out. It really helps me out. It just gives me signal that like, hey, keep making these videos. People are enjoying them. Otherwise, I'm just going to make the videos, you know. <laughs> or I'm not going to make the videos. I'm just going to make the algorithms. That's fine with me too. Either way, either way. So let's go ahead and bring the ask and the bid in here. Ask, ask, bid. And this would be zero. And then the bid again would be one. Okay. Let's go ahead. We got the ask and the bid. We want the signal equals df dot i lock negative one and then it was signal. Remember a long, long time ago, earlier today, we uh we got the signal, it should say buy or sell in that data frame. And then open size. I'm not gonna do two positions. No, I am. Because it's just safer. So position size. Holy moly. What the heck? Position size divided by two. So we're gonna do two orders. And then in position equals PNL close um, and I can say two no I don't want to use that one actually in position I'm looking for a true or false or Positions, open bool. I think we'll do that. In position equals open positions. One, zero, one. Should give a true. And then current size equals. open positions two and um, we're going to turn that into an integer just in case I literally woke up at 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning to make this video and I spent the last two hours making this video and then my video screen recorder crashed and I'd lost all of the video. So I spent two hours building this bot in order to trade Luna because I see that it's still going crazy. You know, I started the video talking about like I, I really, really do feel awfully awfully bad for anybody that's been affected by what's happened with luna if you want to see what happened with luna you can see the price was all the way up at 116 dollars and now it's at 0 0.0003 cents so people got absolutely wrecked i really if you if you got wrecked i'm really sorry uh it gives me chills to just think about it i lost some money as well it's not gonna kill me but like it it's a really bad situation it's it's a way worse like i just thinking about it, it gives me the chills i'm really really sorry to hear it you know yeah i just wasted two hours of time um coding this video and and walking you through all of the code i'm building a bot to trade luna right now because i see that there's still a lot of volume there's a lot of activity i'm essentially gonna buy if it's above 15 minute but like it hurts my soul to just even think about like me 
complaining about wasting two hours when so many people got absolutely rocked and probably lost life savings. Um, so morally, I don't know how I feel about this video. Uh, just kind of talking it through with you. I got on and I started laughing at myself <laughs> because I wasted two hours, but a lot of people lost a lot of money here. So uh, condolences to them. Uh, there's always going to be a next day. There's always a new day with trading. Um, you know, risk management, never go all in on anything. You know, I got hurt by Luna as well, but I didn't go all in. So I know a lot of people that did go all in and that, that sucks. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, let's get into this bot though. I'm going to show you the, all the code. Like I said, I spent the last two hours coding all this out, uh, on video and it just crashed. So, uh, you know, that's kind of ironic because Luna just crashed and my my video crashed after two hours and I woke up at 6 a.m. So if you appreciate this effort, go ahead and hit the like button for me and let's just dive into the code. Um, I already mentioned the strategy we're gonna use here. Uh, if it's above the 15 minute SMA, we're gonna trade to the upside. If it's below it, we're gonna trade to the downside. Very simple strategy. Uh, you can see here, I'm gonna pull in the price, the data frame, the SMAs. The, I'm gonna open an order and then I'm gonna close the order if profit target so open the order on the long side as a buy if the price is over the SMA and then we're gonna open the order as a short if the price is under the SMA and then we'll close the order if our profit target is hit or our max loss is hit part profit target is 15% max loss is 12% the first thing I did was I pulled in the ask and the bid so you know you might need a pause the video if you need this code uh, it's also in my other videos <laughs> I can't believe that uh, I, uh, I it all crashed on me, but whatever. I don't know. It looks kind of suspect. Could be an imposter, you know. Um, this is the best SMA. I can do is maybe a nineteen dollar Fortnite card, and I'll even throw in a Travis Scott McNuggie meal. All right, do we have a deal? So we got the fifteen minute SMA. Number of bars is a hundred. Uh, we fetched open, high, low, close. Got the timestamp, changed it up. Got the bid and ask. Uh, we have buy or sell signals, meaning if it's above or over under the SMA, it will print out a data frame with the buy or sells. We get our open positions so we can have all the information like leverage side, uh, the size, um, and all that good stuff. So we have all that. If you have any questions, please do let me know below. Happy to help, help happy to answer anything. We have our kill switch. We've gone over this in a ton of videos. It essentially gracefully gets me out of the the... The position and then we have the PL close that's going to go through every time and check to see if we're we've hit our profit target or if we hit our max loss so now where the video crashed at hour two well at hour two it crashed right here so we're good we're good to go and we're, we're back to we're back to um, getting this going so we're almost done actually now, there's a lot of talk we had earlier about a lot of things. Maybe I'll be able to salvage the video. If I can salvage the video somehow, I'll just tack this on. But uh, And once again, asking for your financial support. Just tap the like button. That will help me. I literally woke up at 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning and I have no life. But that's okay because I love, love, love doing this. So we're going to turn this current size that we have into an integer. Now that you're all caught up and then I can print the current size just to see um, if this is working. So let's go ahead and run the bot and I need to get into a position. So let's go ahead and buy something here. I'm using KuCoin. So that's, that's actually one of the main points of this video. Wow. Immediately down. Um, one of the main points of me making this video was because I need to get connected to KuCoin and they have a lot of tickers on there that I don't have access to. So, um, yeah, setting all this up with KuCoin, it took me a long, long time. Like I said, the last video was like two hours. So, um, okay, so flow argument must be an entry price. Flow argument must be a string or a number, not none type. Ah, uh, okay. So a string or a number, so float entry price.
145. Let's see where that is. You know, close. So we got a little bug debug. Oh, it can't be a none. So entry price. Where'd I get this? Positions. Okay, get positions. Entry price. Zero and zero. Let's just do that. It was pretty much saying I can't have a none there, which is fine. None type has no. That's interesting. I use that all the time. Let's go ahead and check that out. None type object has no attribute iLock. Sig equals DF dot iLock. So here's the data frame I was telling you about. It's telling us to sell right now. So it's now it's complaining about some 204 line 195. By the way, you know, I, I mentioned this in the other video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to parse it together. So this is a super duper, extremely risky uh, trading bot I'm building. And I'm really just building it for the connection to KuCoin. I don't know if I'm going to run this live for too long at least because just in building this, I've been liquidated a couple times. So that's like, don't, don't run this yourself. I'm, I'm using like a tiny, tiny bet size and i'm just doing it so i can get connected to kucoin and then i'll be able to use you know if another opportunity comes up i'll be able to use kucoin as well algorithmically um, i'm connected to all the other exchanges i want to be kucoin is just one of them that i haven't been connected to yet so you know that's my disclaimer like don't be crazy um df dot i lock let's see <clears throat> If I just do DF dot lock, because DF equals SMA. It's weird because I use this all the time. Maybe I'm just missing something. Let's go up here and try to get this. I'm essentially trying to get this bit buyer ask. So the signal equals DF dot I lock and print SIG. Maybe I can just return this SIG. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see what happened. I didn't return the data frame. Perfect. Oopsie daisies. So now, essentially, I was trying to get the last signal from the data frame, and I was going to – okay, well, maybe I put, didn't put the eye lock in there this time. I'm trying to get the last signal from the data frame pretty much, and the last signal will tell me, hey, um, It will tell me if I need to buy or sell. Okay, that should work. Okay, so now what do we need to do next? We, we're, in, we're in the bot process, so we're actually buying. Okay, we're here, the signal is zero, or do I even print out the signal here? Print current size, I lock. Okay, I print current size. So let's keep it going. And current price equals the bid. And then last, the last SMA 15 equals DF dot I lock dot negative one 
and SMA 20? Or what did I call that? Do I have the SMA? I do have the SMA. So we get the SMA and we call it SMA 20. That's it. Sorry for the fast movements on the screen. I know that's not super pleasant. Print F, F, this is the last SMA. And then last SMA 15. And it's not actually the 15 minutes. It is, um, what is it? It is the 15 minutes. It's the last 15 minutes. Okay, so what else do we need? What else do we need? Let's do some buying. If in position equals false and current size, because we don't want our size to be over our position size, Sometimes it will like fill some and not fill the others. Let's do KuCoin dot cancel all orders and then pass in the symbol. It should work. Let's get the ask and the bid one more time. Let's copy paste because I'm a little bit lazy. I'm like two hours in now, three hours in. I don't know. But let's see what we should do here. We should say if the signal is by sig equals by and current price is over the last SMA. Then we would we would do the buys, right? print making an opening order as a buy. I think that's right. And then buy price one would equal bid. And then buy price two is a little bit under the bid times point. Let's do point nine nine. No, that's not going to work because we're going to get liquidated before, not liquidated, but uh, we're going to exit before that. I think I just want to do one order. Yeah, I think I just want to do one order. Bid minus uh, spread this bid out a little bit at least. Point zero zero. Bid minus point zero 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 one. Minus zero 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 one one two three yeah we got a bit at least two under okay that's good well I can do bid price two equals bid minus a little bit more So I just want to widen my bids a little bit. Print F. This is BP1. This is BP2. BP2. Okay. And then we want to do femix dot cancel. Sorry, we're not using femix anymore. KuCoin dot cancel all orders. Pass in the symbol. And then we want to create two buy orders. So KuCoin dot. I have a buy order up here actually. My ears are plugged. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, so we're gonna copy that over just because it's a little easier. KuCoin, kill size. 
the size we want to use is in position open size and BP1 is the first one BP2 is the second print just made opening orders so going to sleep for two minutes time dot sleep 120 seconds okay now let's do the same thing but for the cell order lf sig equals sell and current price is under the last SMA then making an opening order as a sell and it would be ask plus an ask oops ask plus this is excited. I can just smell the finish line here and I'm excited because I haven't been connected to KuCoin yet and it sometimes takes a long time. If I don't know I don't know if I was able to parse the first part of the video together, so I don't know how I'm speaking right now. Like have you seen the first hour and a half or have you not? But it took me a long, long time to <laughs> to figure that out. So Regardless, hit the like button if, if you're enjoying this because this, this was not easy today. And it's, it's 10 a.m. and I've been working on this since, well, I woke up at 6, so I don't want to cap or anything, but I've been working, I woke up at 6 on a Saturday to work on my bots. Because that's how we do it, that's how we get better, right? Every single day, no matter what, every single day. I don't care. I don't care what the day is. If I'm not if I'm not building, somebody else is. That's main orders, and then I'm gonna do time dot sleep six hundred. So this is gonna if this fails, like I'm just gonna tell it to sleep for a little while. I think that looks right, right? And then the last thing we need to do, I think that we need one more else statement. Yep. Else print we are in position already, so not making any orders. And that's crazy. I think we're done. I think we're done. So, um Let's run the bot. Let's see it makes. Let's see if it works. It should be making orders now. I don't know if it's going to go long or short, but I have no open positions. Just opening orders. It says it just opened the orders, but I don't see it. Okay. Huh. Order history, maybe? Completed. Fills. Okay, so that didn't make the order, but it said it did. So we got to figure this out. It says the buy price would be that, or sell price. Double checking when it actually make the orders. USDTM symbol. So we got here. We canceled all orders. Oh, I see the problem. I didn't change this to sell. Okay, so let's double check. This is a buy order. 
this is a sell order so that one didn't work because it probably just got canceled automatically or something it just didn't go through because let's try it again just made opening orders oh yeah there they are look open orders are there holy moly that's a lot though that's a lot uh, okay well that's okay because no 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 I need to cancel these because I'm not looping it yet okay so it works perfect so the last thing we need to do is make sure this works forever and it just loops forever because now that we have the the orders which is awesome Let's go. We're some whales up in here. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! 28 seconds. I'll put two seconds for now so we can double check it works. Dot do bot. And then this is pretty much going to run it every 20 or two seconds for now. But later I'll, I'll change it to. 20 something and I don't again I don't know if you saw the first part of this video at this point I'm gonna try to salvage it hopefully I can because that was a lot of work and there's a lot of good stuff in there but um, a lot this this code seems to be or KuCoin seems to be working a little slower like it runs a little slower So, what I'm trying to say is it works a little slower. So usually I run it every 28 seconds, which is about 30 seconds. But in this case, I may run it every 20 seconds. But let's see if it runs. And I think I'm gonna bring my position size down. No, my position size is about $100 right now. So that's a million moon, Luna, It's a lot. But uh, let's see what happens. So just made the orders. I don't see any data coming in. There they are. See that lag though? That is some lag. There is some crazy stuff going on here on the uh, the uh, good old KuCoin exchange. It's going a little slow for me, but I want to test this out with a little smaller position size. Well, it's $100, I'm not gonna die, but if, if it does a lot of trades, yeah, I don't wanna do, yeah, no, whatever, I like it. It's better for the, uh, it's more fun. I'm gonna keep a closer eye on it, and it's a million Luna, so that's my position size. You saw all the code. Um, I do this every single day. Like I said, this is Saturday morning, and I'm building new bots, so. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'm excited. If you want to learn exactly everything I know, every single thing I know of algo trading, step by step, you want all my code, all that good stuff, go ahead and join the boot camp. A ton of people are rushing into it. I don't know how many people I'm going to allow in because it's a it's a lot of a lot of like my secrets that I've been working on for so long. There's a link somewhere below this video. Go join that. If you're not ready for that, just hit the like button so you can see the next video that I launch. I'm gonna go ahead and set this live for to run all day, and uh, I'll, I can po post my results as well tomorrow or the next day. Uh, just make sure to like this video, and I really appreciate you sticking around uh, for for this whole video. I don't know if it's two hours or if it's gonna be just this nice short truncated one. I'm gonna try to salvage the other part so hopefully you're listening to this after a couple hours if not hey you know at least you saw the code uh, you missed a lot of a lot of stuff in between but at least you saw the code and uh, I'll make more in-depth videos later like I said everything I know concise clear videos are in the boot camp <laughs> All right, so I'm back because I had to do a little debugging and I found a couple errors here. So let's go over them real quickly. Um, you know, I don't recommend taking this code and live trading with it. Let me do the live trading because 
you know, this isn't proven. So the first thing I did was on this leverage, I had info right here like this. I had to remove it. So that's the first thing I removed that. The second thing is on line 159 here and I marked out all of this. So I don't do the if long thing. I just get the absolute value. So I say current price minus entry price. If it's negative, make it positive. If it's positive, keep it positive. Those are the two little quick things that I changed. And now my bot can run perfectly for me and it gets me in and out of position. So I'm going to run it and that's it. So if you want to learn absolutely everything about algo trading, of course, there is a boot camp that I put together. So yeah, boy jump on in and if you're not quite ready for that just hit the like button and watch this video that's popping up on your screen right now it's on your screen watch it and i will see you there